Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. We are back, and our first game of this episode is up against Reading. They used to be in the Premier League. I remember it very well. I'm not really sure how they're getting on at the moment in real life, but uh, currently we're sitting in ninth, I believe it is. So I don't care how good they are. We have to win. Simple as that. This is the team we're using. Let's get into the first game of this episode. Oh, this is not a good start. Is he going to try and cross it in? He's going to play it back and then the cross will come in. Here it is. Please deal with that Barker. Oh, wow. Oh, thankfully the shot was terrible. That defensive header, what was that? Here they come down the left side again. This Barrow guy is a pain into Swift. That's a great name. Evans couldn't close him down quick enough, but we've got the tackle in. Right, now we break. Can we get on our first proper attack? Here's Graven Birch. Put over the top of Barker. I think he's offside, though. I'm pretty sure he's offside. No? He's on. Into the box for Nemecha, and it's just not quite made it to him. We've still got it. Why not? Let's smack it. We scored a wonder goal in the last episode, and we've hit the bar. Unbelievable strike from Graven Birch. Look how much power he got on that. And it just clips the bar. That's so unlucky. There's no doubt in my mind that would have been a better goal than Kilman's against Fulham. And that's a good interception from Stewart. Yeah, I think, I think that was a better strike. Such a shame it didn't go in. But now we get on the break again. It's a lovely ball into Barker. Give that to Nemecha. Come on. Something from this. Try and get around. Ah, oh, just couldn't get through more. Here we go again, though. It's Barker. Can we get around more this time? Nope. <laughs> this guy, he's having the game of his life right now. No. Oh, my God. That was close. And that's the end of the first half. Very, very even. Probably looking at a draw here, guys. As, as of right now, there's not one team that's outperforming the other. Oh, no. Good block by Evans, but they're in still. Coleman just about gets there in time. And now on the counter-attack. Let's see if we can get forward. Stewart running here. We'll give that to Barker behind the defender. It's a lovely ball. No one in the box, really. So I do not want to cross it. Can I get some support here? There we go. Stewart again. Into Nemecha. Finish it. Yes! Finally! We get through this Reading defence. They've been solid. That uh, defender, Moore, as I said in the first half, is just having a really good game. But finally, we've got through. All it took was a nice bit of interplay between Stewart, uh, Barker on the left side, and then ultimately it's finished by Nemecha, of course. How many goals has he got in the championship? Seven already, and we're still technically in September. This is the final day of September, and he's already got seven goals. I'm hoping he can catch up Rooney and overtake him. Well, that's not good, is it? And just like that, Reading score. And it's McNulty. Why do I recognise that name? Was he? No. He wasn't on loan. Is that, is that the guy who was on loan with us last season? Am I going mental right now? That is doing my head in. I'm pretty sure that's McNulty from last season. I didn't think he was on loan from Reading. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's him, though, and he's just scored against us, which is pretty bad, considering we barely used him. Clearly, I got that wrong. Good striker. That was a good finish, but I don't know. We had, we had better options, let's say. No, not again. Get out of here. We are not conceding two to McNulty. We're not doing that. There's just over 10 minutes to go here. Let's see if we can get something going. Come on. Put that through. Nice. Go on, put it in behind. He's got the pace. Come on, McKinley. The Scottish Messi doesn't score. And it's Manoni. He, he was at Arsenal, this goalkeeper. Right, okay. We've only got a few minutes left of this game. It's not looking good, though, is it? Although, could be in again here. Good touch from Nemecha. Finish it. No. Oh, you're kidding me. That was 2-1 right there. And that would have been the three points, surely. How am I going to keep up with the other clubs if I'm constantly drawing and I've been losing games as well? 
this has Arsenal's season written all over it, just drawing games and losing games as well. It's not been a very good period, has it? We've had some really inconsistent results. We need to start winning again because right now we are just falling away from that top four, top six, which I know it's, it's probably where we should be right now. But of course, you always want to aim higher. I want to be in that playoff zone by the end of the season, if possible. But right now, it doesn't seem very likely. We are struggling. And would you look at that? Lewis McKinley has been called up for international duty. He's now playing for Scotland. That's incredible. I mean, he's 73 rated now, so I guess that kind of makes sense. He should be getting called up. Uh, also, of course, Evans and Lewis going up for uh, international duty with Northern Ireland. But that's amazing. He is now playing for Scotland at such a young age. He is one of our best players. He hasn't had the best season so far, but I love using him. I think he's a, he's a brilliant winger for us and he's only going to get better, especially if he's getting international games as well. So up next, we've got Blackburn, I believe it is. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to go back to the two up top formation, the Diamond 4-4-2. So we've got Morris coming back in. We're going to have Edwards playing at Cam. Kabai is coming in alongside Gravenbirch and Stewart there. It does mean, of course, we're playing without wingers and we've got three of them on the bench. I don't really need that many. Let's have Wilson come in for Barker here. And is there anyone else that I want to use that I haven't been using much lately? I don't think so. We haven't been using Dobson and I feel bad about that because he was actually a big part of uh, the first season. So we're going to take out Gooch and <laughs> I can't say that name seriously. I, I, I'm sorry. OK, I'm childish. We might bring on Dobson in the second half and it is Blackburn, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is a good game. Blackburn are the lowest scoring team. They've only scored eight goals in 11 games. That is shocking. You thought I was bad at scoring goals. I've scored a lot more than that. That's really quite bad. And I believe we might still be one of the most defensive teams. Like they're one of the best defensive teams in the league. I'm not too sure about that. I need to, to double check. But Blackburn have made a decent start here. They've had a lot of possession in my half. Can't win the ball here. Here's Armstrong. No. Thank God for that. Coleman saves it. We can't be having Armstrong Armstrong scoring against us. Did he did he score against us when we played Blackburn last season? I can't quite remember. Obviously, he's a massive Newcastle fan, as I found out when I uh, I shortlisted him, and everyone in the comments was like, "No, he's a he's a Newcastle fan." Oh, look at the space here for Graven Birch. Put it through over to the right side for Edwards. Dink it in. Go on. Oh, it's gone behind the Metcher. If that was just a slightly better cross, that was one nil. Just before the break here, Kabai switches the play. Hang on. That could be a red card if it's if it's been blown straight away after the tackle. Because I still had possession. What's going on here? It didn't look like a red. So I'm interested to see this. It's a yellow. So why are you stopping play? Our next game is against Sheffield United. As they've come down into the championship, we've lost the ball again. I'm actually going to take Kabai off. He's having a terrible game. It's his lack of acceleration. Whenever you get the ball in that position, you need to get out. You know, you need to move the ball quickly. And that's not happening. So we will bring in Dobson. I said I would. We're just doing it a bit early. I do like Kabai, but I don't think it works in such a narrow formation. He needs to have more time on the ball. And you just don't seem to have that in this formation. Here is Dobson now into Morris. Put it through for Nemecha. He's going to get there. You know he's going to get there. And you know he's going to score. Straight after the substitution, we score. What is that? What's Kabai holding us back? No, I, I don't think so. We just needed to wait for an opening. And we finally got one. And that's a really tidy finish as well. Right into the corner. Now we just need to hold on to this. Three points would be amazing at this point. Because we've dropped down into 11th. Which is not good enough. Nice ball from Dobson there. He's actually been very good since he's come on. Here's Morris now. Over to Hover. Ball comes in and it's deflected straight to the keeper. We've got 20... No, not even that. We've got 15 minutes left. Oh, that's a good ball. Morris, please make it two. Yes, we've done it, guys. We've got three points. Surely, surely we've got it now. Oh, that is such a relief. Not the best goal ever. Just a simple ball over the top. And Morris, who's really not been too involved in this game, gets his goal. Both strikers have scored now. Into injury time. We could be in again here. Loads of space for Morris to run into. It's over for Nemecha and he makes it 3-0. Brilliant. 
Oh, I'm so happy. The relief is right up there right now. It's one of the best feelings I've had in this series because I just, I need to start winning games. It gets embarrassing. You know, if I'm not winning games, it's awful. It really sucks as a YouTuber putting on your uh, your skills on display. <laughs> I don't have many, so I'm really happy to get a big win here. 3-0 against Blackburn, and it has been a second-half demolition, really, isn't it? Very happy with that. So although we've only moved up into 10th place, it looks worse than it is because it is close. You've got four teams there within one point of each other. I mean, that's, that's quite crazy. If we can beat Sheffield United now, we will go into, hopefully, 7th or 8th. But uh, yeah, that's that's this is a big game. Sheffield United obviously are going to be a very strong side. They just beat Sheffield Wednesday. I'm sure that was a heated game. They're in 11th right now. So who's top? We've got Brentford. They still haven't lost a game and neither have Burnley. I think it's safe to say, guys, we're not going to get automatic promotion this season. However, I am looking at Leeds, Derby, maybe Fulham dropping out of that uh, that third to sixth in the playoff spots and maybe I can get into there but now let's play against Sheffield United we're going to change up the formation this time as well I fancy getting in wingers and both strikers so I was thinking maybe going to I'll show you the formation I used it a few times last season uh, it's the 3-4-2-1 so it does mean going three at the back but we've got Kilman, Evans and Hover there that'll be absolutely fine we'll go with I think we'll go with Graven Birch and Clark. Clark is a little bit more physical and a bit more defensive than Stewart. So we're going to go with that. We're then going to go with O'Neill on the right side. Let me just put Lewis there. So we go with O'Neill there. We go with Lewis on the other side. We're going to have Gomez coming out for Morris. So Morris will play on the left side. Nemetra up top and McKinley on the right. We'll, we'll give it a go if it doesn't work. Because it is a very attacking formation, then of course we can change it back. The the worry is Lewis and O'Neill are pushing forward quite high there. Don't forget, Morris was originally a winger, so I'm sure he could do his job. And talking of wingers, we've got McKinley through here. He's been caught up. It's a good turn to Nemecha. Morris, Graven Birch. Oh, he's missed. I really should have done better with that chance when I got McKinley through that. That fake shot turn back, or whatever you want to call it. The fake shot reverse. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It just, it, it didn't work. It actually ruined my chance. But good start nonetheless. We've got an attack within the first 10 minutes. Oh no. Here comes Sheffield United though. That's not really going to worry me. Oh, that's a foul. That is a dirty foul. Surely going to be a yellow card for Bulldog here. We were through. Lewis would have got in a very good cross along the ground. I was thinking of doing it. He's actually complaining for a red there. We're going to try and whip in this cross. See if we can get a header on it. I mean, it wasn't terrible. Oh, they've signed Elvedi. Interesting signing from Muchin Gladbach, that. Oh, God, here we go. Yeah, there you go. McBurney scores. This formation is suicidal defensively. It really isn't working. Going forward, it's great. And I knew that would be the case. I thought I would just have to outscore Sheffield United. That that might still be the case because we are 1-0 down. Look at that dive in from Kilman. That was so close to blocking it. But a good goal from McBurney. Good striker him. Maybe we should look at him in the future. I reckon he could do well for us. But of course, right now, let's just focus on what we've got to do. And that's turn this game around now. This just hasn't worked. I'm going to change it over half time. Another shot comes in, which goes wide. Wasn't a very good shot, but that will be the end of the first half. And thankfully, it's over. It's not been good at all. We've played so badly. We had maybe one or two decent chances, but otherwise, Sheffield United have been all over me and they deserve to be leading the game. Luckily, with the players we've got, it's not hard to change this up. So O'Neill's going to come into midfield. We have McKinley playing at Cam with Morris and the Metro up top. Um, yeah, that's fine. We've got... The same players on the pitch. No substitutions needed, but a change in formation. God, we've got Leeds up next. That's going to be probably the toughest game of the season so far. They've got such a good squad. I would actually love to see them back in the Premier League next season in real life. Hopefully it happens. Let's see if we can do something here with Lewis. Into Graven Birch, to Nemecha. Through here for McKinley. Finish it, son. Ah, oh, it was a decent attempt. 
Good save by the keeper. The change in formation has been so good. Look at the difference. It's just so much more solid. Here's Clark. Put it through for Morris. And now score it, please. Why did you have to fall over? The ball came back to you, son. You could have just had another shot, maybe. I've brought on Gomez. I think he will make a difference. Oh, that's a lovely turn from Morris. Oh, he's still going. Still going. And he scores. Right, okay. We've still got a chance here to get back into the top six or so. If we're lucky, maybe the top eight. That goal is going to be huge. Really nice touch to get him behind the defender. And once he gets running, it's very difficult to stop him. And it's an incredible finish as well. Right into the far corner. We've got 10 minutes. Come on, boys. We've got this. Two minutes added on. No, we've run out of time. Okay, just rescue the draw. That's fine. We'll take a point in this situation. It's completely my fault. The, uh, the first half formation was a bad idea. And that's it. It's my mistake. We might have maybe got a win. I, I don't know. You can never say that you would have won if you did this this certain thing. You know, hindsight's a beautiful thing, right? But we have come away with a draw when maybe we could have lost it by half time. We could have been two or three nil down. So we'll take it. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here because the Leeds game, I want to be the first game of the next episode. And you guys We'll have to wait till tomorrow, I'm afraid. So let's have a look at the league table as we bring this episode to an end. We're up into ninth. I think that's where we started this episode. Six wins, five draws, two losses, and still yet to see Brentford or Burnley lose a game. I mean, at least Brentford drew a game, so they're kind of gettable. I'm really excited to play them. When, when do we play Brentford? I'm hoping it's soon. Brentford, where are you? I'm guessing December. Yeah, so we've got an away game to Brentford in December. That's going to be a big game. We've also got Burnley. Jeez, two massive games in a row there. So you've got that to look forward to as well. But thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like rating and I will see you for the next one very soon.